Okay, guys. Uh, for today, um, I'll make a video on a little contraption I've made for dumping my uh, containers of rodent bedding. So, once a week, I go through all these um, rodent racks and change everything out. All the bedding goes into this. And once I fill this up, I cart it outside, and I've got a great big ginormous compost pile of this stuff. So. Um, in time, this pile has gotten so big that um, instead of dumping this and making my pile get further and further spread out, I would cart this uh, trash can up to the top of the hill and dump it out up there. But it's the, the pile is so big now that it's, it's a big hassle to do that. So what I've done is taken an old rototiller and a couple pulleys connected a rope to the rototiller and secured the rototiller to the ground. Uh, run the rope. The rope winds up on the rototiller as it's running and that rope goes up to the top of the tree and back down and connects to this can. So I fire that tiller up, hook the rope to this, tie it off, um, hit the lever on the tiller and it winds up and lifts this trash can up and then I pull, I yank another rope and it releases the trash bin and dumps it out. So this pile now is probably saying it's going on eight to ten feet tall. So here in a moment I'm gonna take the camera out there and set it up and crawl up on top of this hill and let you guys see it. But um, as I'm cleaning tubs I'll take tubs and say a dirty tub the rodents come out of here go into a, uh, a tote and then the bedding gets dumped in here, gets scraped out. Once it's scraped out, I've got two more containers set up to where I dump. Um, this is just pelletized horse bedding and then pine plates, shavings. Uh, once that happens, this goes back into the rack and the rodents below move up one position, which frees up the tub below and then I just keep repeating the process on and on again. So. And also, in order to pack more in here, as it gets about halfway full, I take a sledgehammer and mash this stuff down. That way I'm not making so many trips, I just kind of smash this down and you can pack in quite a bit more in there. But this container's probably 300 pounds now, something like that. But what's contained in here is the bedding from this rack, this rack, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that's it so far. So after I dump this, uh, with one more container, I'll be able to get the rest of my rack. So there's, all right guys, I'm gonna move the camera. Okay, so <clears throat> I've rolled this trash can out here. There's a great big pile of bedding that I've been piling there for the past probably two years and here's this old rototiller I've got this is just one of a few that I've had laying around but what I've done is I've anchored this thing to the ground and you can see the tines right there there's where the rope rolls up on it and I've got uh, two uh, utility anchors or down guy anchors that I've screwed into the ground and I've run a machine bolt through the anchor with a couple washers and the, uh, the tip of that bolt runs into the tines of this tiller so I've got it on this side and also I've done the same thing on the other side and that anchors the tiller down so this container is probably 400 pounds 300 pounds so uh, if it weighs that much you've got just as much weight pulling up on this tiller so you got to have some way to anchor it and there's no way those things are coming out. Here's the other side. Another screw and anchor. Another bolt sticks through into the tine there. Um, this old motor, it's uh, before I set it up to do this, this thing sat outside for two years and I didn't touch it. There was no spark plug in it, no cover on the motor. And to my amazement, I was able to get this thing running. So it's been pretty bulletproof. The motor was full of water. The cylinder was full of water and dirt, and I was able to get the darn thing running.
but just an old five horsepower Briggs and Stratton motor. motor. But anyway, uh, you can see where the rope winds up on the uh, on the tines. The rope goes all the way up. There's a pulley up there. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me zoom in. So you can see the pulley. And so from the tiller to that pulley and from the pulley back down, from the pulley back down to this little catch here, that connects to the trash can right there, okay? And also this rope on this side goes all the way up to the tree limb wrapped around the back side of the tree limb and it's that that ropes what's holding that dolly or the shiv but anyway so that comes back down anchors or catches off to the anchor so one of these days I'll repurpose it and use it for something so I'll take this hook This rope one of my little inventions so hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more